Hello everyone and welcome to Black Mesa. If you've never heard of this game before, you are not alone because I had no idea it existed until rather recently. Because I was playing Portal on the channel and I was informed that apparently Portal takes place in the same universe as uh, Half-Life. Which I find hilarious because I've never seen Half-Life and I've never played it, but it always struck me as this very serious and gritty game. So to think of a game as comical as Portal taking place in the same universe, there's something kind of funny about it. You know, just that contrast, I guess, is hilarious to me. Um, but yeah, we got on to the topic of Half-Life. I mentioned that I had never played the game and someone recommended this game to me because it's basically a remake of the Half-Life series with better graphics. Um, and I think, like, some of the original members of the team that worked on Half-Life, like the, um, the voice actors and stuff like that, are actually helping out with the project, which is cool. So I kind of wanted to play this because it's, it's a remake of an old game, but it's also kind of new because it's an ongoing project. Um, they still haven't finished the last few chapters of Black Mesa, so I'm hoping if we get started now, by the time we finish, they'll be done with the chapters and we can do a full playthrough of Half-Life. I thought it'd be fun to do because I've heard so much about the game and I've always heard a lot of people say really good things about it. I just never played it because I felt like it wouldn't have the same kind of impact as compared to like when it first released because I remember hearing a lot of people say when the game first released that the capabilities of the engine and the physics of the game were like crazy good, you know, for that time period. Um, but obviously that's not really the case anymore. So I wasn't sure if, you know, because it didn't have like, you know, these new amazing capabilities that a lot of games have today if it would have the same kind of, you know, effect on me, I guess, is the long of the short. Um, but at the same time, I did want to try this out, like I said, and because I've heard so much about Half-Life, I always wanted to play the game, but I never really had an excuse to until today. So, like I said, we're going to be playing through Black Mesa. I don't know what all is involved in it. I don't know if it's just Half-Life 1 or if it's Half-Life 1 and 2 and Half-Life 2 Chapters 1 and 2. That naming scheme is so confusing to me. Um, but like I said, we'll play through Black Mesa, we'll see how much of the Half-Life series is involved, and then, like I said, I do plan on playing Half-Life 1 and 2. So it's gonna be a long series, and I hope you guys are ready. Um, but I think that's everything that I wanted to explain. So with that being said, we'll get into it. Well, that's a very intimidating note to start on. Literally and figuratively. But we're in it, and we're Black Mesa inbound. Is this not Black Mesa? I guess not. Okay, will I be seeing you guys there? Alright, I'll save you a seat at the lunch table. New Mexico? We're in America? Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. Hi. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. It's very convenient and fun. It reminds me of like a Disney ride. Hello. All right, they're not feeling sociable. Hi. Oh, you actually waved. Best security officer, 10 out of 10. Would uh, officeize again. O officerize? Would make an officer again. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Oh, that does sound pleasant. I wish I knew what that felt like. <laughs> It's been like non-stop like 105 degrees with like 40% humidity here so I don't know what 68 degrees feels like anymore. I hope they mean Fahrenheit now that I think about it. Celsius would be very uncomfortable. Are we loading? We're loading. <laughs> Remember when you had to wait for games to load? Ah, uh, back in the good old days. You had to be patient. You know, you didn't have stuff to do while you were waiting. Why do they have security cameras in the middle of the tram system? I don't know. Whoa! God dang it, I keep getting stuck on stuff. Hello! Alright, you're sour then. It's like a game of sweet and sour. I used to play that all the time as a kid. Can I board the high security rocket? Because that looks like fun. God dang it. Okay, sounds good. Where is that? I don't know, because I can't see shit, Captain. I can't read anything on there. Whoa! Is that New Mexico? New Mexico has changed since I saw it. Okay. Now that's the last time I'll ever see it. Oh, never mind. We can see more of New Mexico. Transit system. 
Oh, really? I guess I have to get off. Because, uh, I'm, I'm smoking. Smoking hot! Da da da! Anyways. Okay, we're going this way now. This is trippy. This is actually a bit more nauseating than a Disney ride. Unless you're counting Haunted Mansion, I guess. Why is there a cow skull? Why? Did you guys have cows out by the transit system? Why? Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Never! Oh, wait, there's a pane of glass. Never mind. But keeping my limbs inside is no fun. I want to have fun. When do we get to have fun? This is boring. Are we there yet? <laughs> I just become a child. Whoa! Okay, uh, can I call dibs on being evacuated via helicopter? Because I've never been in a helicopter and I would like to be in one, please? We could start that now if you want. She's not gonna respond. Okay, well, I guess that's that then. I keep forgetting this is all like an introduction screen so they can say all the names of the people who worked on this. Whoa. Well, this feels very Portal 2-esque. If you've ever played the co-op version of Portal 2. Hi! Are you gonna let us through? Oh. It's very intimidating. Thank you! Ah, Salute to you too, person. I don't know what your rank is, but thanks! Thanks for letting us through. Will I see you at the lunch table? Um... I'm gonna take that as a hard no. Because I guess there's no going back. Alright, right side or left side? I'm gonna say left side. Or maybe right side. No, it was left side. I was right the first time. I should have believed in myself. A reminder that the Gordon Freeman. No, I'm Brian Cranston. Will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the level three facility. Sounds good. I'll be sleeping. <laughs> that's a lot of letters. We got a lot of letters in front of our name. What does MIT mean? Like, that's where I got my training? That's where I went to school? I'm a research associate. It's very convenient this is all popping up in front of my face. Do I have, like, Google Glass or something? I don't know. Is that something Google Glass can do? Whoa! That's fun! Hey, can I have that? Come on, it'll fit in my apartment. Okay, I guess I don't get it. But I have clearance level 3, so booyah. I worked at a theme park. Does that count as low clearance security? I work ticket sales. I don't think that counts. Whoa! Whoa! That thing is cool! It looks like a bug. It's like a mecha bug. It's like a mecha ant. Ants have six legs though, right? So not quite. It's a mecha ant. You know. Missing a few limbs, but that's fine. Still gets the job done. So do you have any positions that, you know, need retail experience? Maybe? Or guest services, client relations? No? Okay, great. A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. Okay. If you feel you have been exposed to radio Oh, that was freaky. Hazardous materials in the uh, what? Contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Okay, I already feel like I've been, you know, exposed. Who do I get in contact again? I wasn't paying attention. Oh no. It's fine, he probably just forgot his keys. Is this our stop? Finally? Please stand back from the Hallelujah. And wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. <gasps> Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Crap, can we go back? I just realized I forgot my wallet. Morning, Mr. Freeman. That's Mr. Cranston to Looks you. Like you're running late. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure you could understand why. Like, I'm sure you have to ride this tram just like the rest of us. So you know how long it takes to get out here. Like, good Gandhi, it takes five minutes without traffic. It's insanity. We're already on location. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. The dinosaur? Yes, his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. So that's what he started doing after the 90s. Okay. Are you letting me in? Aw, oh, thanks. I can talk to you. What's in that step, Freeman? The door wasn't even open yet. Calm yourself. Also, thank you for opening the door. Goodbye. I appreciate, too, that you didn't do a knock-knock joke while you were opening it. That was pretty nice. Anyways, hi. Oh, I'm taller. Oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. I mean, I can grow the ponytail back. However, you can't grow a personality, now can you? So really, who's at a loss? Still you. We're at Anomalous Materials. Will do, if I can remember who that is. Are you Dr. Cross? Hi. had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Oh no. Just one of those days, I guess. Yeah, I feel you. We're also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you'd gotten to your hazard suit. Okay. Where can I find my hazard suit? Out of curiosity. Gordo, you're on Sunday. I need you on stopwatch. Alexander, Up to it. Please report to I have no idea what that means. Okay. Hi, can you tell me where my hazard suit is? Uh, person? I'm sorry, I have a fit of amnesia all of a sudden and I can't remember your name. Goodbye! Okay, am I just supposed to follow the colored lines on the wall? Because that would be convenient. Coolant leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. I feel ya. Yes, about oh, that. would you look at We're that? We're going to need you Freeman to come in this weekend. did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Who gave you the nitrous oxide? What do you got the giggles? You didn't tell me the punchline. You, I don't get the joke. What? Is it because I actually showed up? You're weird. Y'all are weird. <laughs> I was also confused because I think the two people out here like talking are done by the same voice actor. Because it sounded like the dude was talking to himself. I don't know. But is my hazard suit in here? Could I hazard a guess? Sounds good. I don't know what that means. But could I hazard a guess? Also, you've ruined my pun. I was going to say, could I hazard a guess that my, you know, hazard suit is in here? But now it's not funny anymore because I had to repeat myself. What? Hi. You're nice. Why am I yelling at you? I'm sorry. It's not your fault. People are just weird around here. That's the only conclusion I've come to so far is people are weird. I'm just going to follow all the different colored lines until I find some sort of solution, I guess, because I don't know where a hazard suit would be. There's like three different options. Hi, can you tell me where my hazard suit is? Oh, they're right there, Mr. Freeman. I got explicit orders not to let you through without your hazard suit on. Okay, can you tell me where it is? Uh, are we forgetting something? Oh my god, yes, we have forgotten something. Apparently everyone here has forgotten what it's like to be helpful. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I don't know, dude. Just talk to HR, see if maybe we can get like a casual Friday or something. What's my last name again? I already forgot, it's Freeman, right? It's my hazard suit in my locker, maybe? Do I even have a locker? Aha, here we go. Okay, can I open you? I can. Oh wow. Aw, little baby. What is that? What are you? I can't pick you up, oh god. Oh. Jeez, I picked up the box. That's not what I wanted to pick up. I'm sure it's filled with cherished memories of childhood, but this is what I wanted. I wanted the shiny. What does the shiny do? I don't know, but you're going right there. Is this my hazard suit? Apparently not. Okay. Yeah, okay, so MIT is the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Sorry, my ear just started acting up. I think I have, I forget what it's called, but when you get that ringing in your ears, that happens to me occasionally. Uh, and it just happened, and it was very painful. Anyways, um, 
Okay, what's this? Something I can't interact with. So where the heck is my suit then? Aha, that's a hazard suit. Uh, I'm gonna hazard a guess that it's mine. I've done that joke too many times now. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy- Okay, it's on. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Aw, oh, this is dope! I love this music, this is cool. I didn't know this thing came with surround sound, like hot dang. Now I see what the hype is about for this has suit. I'm just like jamming out to the music right now. I have no idea what this robot is saying. Hell yeah, now I feel like a VIP. Have a very safe day. What's a barrel? Like a wooden barrel? Am I going down Niagara Falls? Why am I gonna be in a barrel? What does that mean? Hi! Ah, Gordon Freeman. That's my name! You've already worn it out. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going in here now. Perfect. So, uh, do I need to be concerned with the fact I don't have any energy for my suit? Or is that gonna be something that I get later? I'm guessing. I don't know. Cause like, I tried to do like a tutorial thing for this game. I don't know if it counts as a tutorial. But it was kind of like a, an exercise area. Like it's an area, a mod, that you can download for the game. Um, that kind of introduces you to the different capabilities of the hazard suit. But I wasn't able to get it to work on my computer. So I just watched a playthrough of it. Um, so I know like what the different symbols mean. I'm kind of concerned that I don't have any energy for my suit right now. Hello! It is very interesting, huh? Now where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. I'm sure. That was weird. Why did you have to stand right there? Was that your mark? Where you were like, oh shoot, I didn't hit my mark in time and he's already here and he's gonna see me like adjust and I can't say my line until I'm on my mark? God dang it. Let me press the buttons! Oh, there's so many buttons! I wanna press them all. I guess I can't. God dang it. I thought this game and I were on the same page. Control room, test lab, access, plasma cells. Uh, where am I going? The test lab? I think I'm going to the test lab, so I'm gonna follow the green one, I guess. Whoa, that's pretty. That's neato. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. What's up, Doc? Nothing much, Bugs Bunny. What about you? Is this where I need to be? I still don't know where I need to be. Ah, Gordon. There you are. Nice yes, that's me. Hi. Hi. Just sent the sample down to the test chamber. Yes, of course. The anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Naturally. Gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. It's worth the it. The administrator is very concerned if we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. Oh, that dang administrator. To get it. Uh huh. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Right. Come on then. I'll walk you down. Uh, okay, first of all, rude. Second of all, nice Snape impersonation. I like it. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Uh-huh. Of course, Eli. Good old Eli. Who's Eli? Greetings, Eli. Greetings? I trust this oh, I didn't know I was with a nerd. Gordon, good morning. Hi. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, my God. Oh. It's about to go critical. You think? It just exploded off the wall. It also made me see double for a what second. What blazes is going on oh. with our equipment? Oh. It was never meant to do this in the first place. I don't think anything is meant to do that in the first it's place. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Okay, are you gonna need your motherboards back? I feel like they're probably important. You know, they're kind of... The main okay, whatever. Oh, there you are. Uh, hi. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Yeah, I know. Okay. Well, uh, thanks then. Hasta luego, supongo. Anyways. Ah, uh, here he is. Hi. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet, and potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. Uh. You can say that. 
Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely, I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. You shouldn't, but thanks. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Can we go over the insertion procedure? I'm kind of concerned. That sounds concerning. Also, have you ever thought of, like, narrating, uh, nature documentaries before? You got, like, a voice like butter. Like, you would be perfect for documentaries. Just gonna throw it out there in case you ever need a side gig. Anyways, we're in here now. Why am I in here? Well, okay, things are moving. Oh, okay, it was just the door. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. Okay, sounds good. All right, Gordon, your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. The specimen? If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. The carrier? When are we doing the insert? I'm just concerned about the insertion progress or process. It sounds a little questionable. But I guess I'll start the rotors. Okay. I think I broke it. Nope, never mind. That's intentional. I have a degree from MIT. Did you guys know that? You do now. Okay. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. Oh, pretty. <laughs> of course, yes, very predictable, but also very shiny. I like it. Can I put it in my apartment? Uh, okay, what am I supposed to be doing? Now I'm stressed. What am I supposed to be doing? You want me to do things? What am I doing? Okay, but do you maybe want to tell me about it? Okay, where's the delivery system? It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno's? Am I getting DiGiorno's? Ooh, that would be a nice surprise. I could take a pizza break right about now. Standard insertion or non-standard specimen. Sta oh. Am I messing with this? Go ahead, Gordon. Slot the carrier into the analysis port. Okay. Oh, I'm inserting this into that. Okay. For a second, I thought we were going to do some, like, weird probing stuff, but this works, too. Oh, no. Is this not standard procedure? This doesn't feel standard. Are they dead? I think they're dead. I think I'm dead. I think I'm seeing the light. I don't know if it's the light or if it's the beams. I don't know what I'm looking at. It looks like straight up death. Okay, the 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 thing is getting bigger. I'm concerned. Where do I go? Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Give me the oh, okay, now I'm just dead. I think I have died. Oh no, I'm alive. Okay, we just blacked out for a second. Okay. Uh, what? No, 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 don't do any insertion procedures on me.